So, hello everyone, more than welcome to my review of Mega Deo episode 23 of the two. A really, really good episode. It was good all the way. I said that last week. This is another really, really fantastic episode. I mean, the action is just spot on all the time. I think it's almost kind of the best way to do it when you have like short battles of several different uh, students' rights. If you can like, follow some of them and the different quirks, and it's really interesting to see how the quirks can like um, synergize with each other or how it's either good or bad against their, their um, teacher opponent and so on, right? So, it's a very good in the episode. Of course, we all want more of Vinetta. <laughs> Obviously, the best thing. But I think generally every battle was, was really good, except probably, I will say, the weakest battle was, of course, Ashidu and um, Kamari versus Principal, which felt more like, uh, I would say, there's more of an expression of him, much more about the Principal learning his quirk, than actually them doing anything. So it was more like, this is what the Principal can do, which I've been wondering for a while and so on, so that's great. Uh, for that, it should really show, like, okay, what can he do right there? So that, that, that's good in that sense. I don't think it's a bad part, I'm just saying that as a battle, it wasn't a battle, right? It was like, this is his power, and they lost. <laughs> because they could do nothing. So, the other ones were much more like a worship, right? That was like, okay, this is what he can do. So, overall, I think it's another type of episode. I really do so think it's like, uh, yeah, because not just the action, but also the comedy. I think this is, this is like, this is spot on where Sean and manga and anime is, uh, is at the best. You have great action, you have great, and you have also have great comedy. And usually you also have some great course background, motivation, and so on. But a specific uh, uh, combat episode, this here has, has it right. So, so let's go on by scene by scene, right? The first one I think is really, really funny. It's really short, but it started last week, so I think it's fine. And of course, Urikara and uh, Naval Ace versus uh, 13. And it's like, you like Deku? <laughs> it's, it's loud in part, right? It had the whole thing there. And I, the best part of it, though, isn't that she used B13 in, in like martial law because she's like betrayed with Gunner? It's a nice scene, you know, her eyes come through the white, right? New pupil is just pure, like, Donyo, far train, Donyo, fighting experience. Great part, but I think the best thing is, of course, Naval Laser. He's like, oh, perfect plan! And he's like, like, he expected it to work or something. That's what makes me so funny. That's why you have the, the, my hero as the best in action and comedy. If you're interested in the manga, it's a fantastic storytelling, more like tra tragic storytelling. But right now, it's like this a typical shonen, right? Like, okay, good action, but also really weird jokes and funny characters. Because it's like, why is Naval Laser so smug about it? That, that's the best part, right? Because he's like, oh, you see this, Urikara? I'm coming to help you! Shoot! It's like a fly down there, like he's perfect, takes her, uh, takes her to the like, yes, you got you now. It's like, why, why, would he, why would he expect it to work? I mean, I, I, obviously he knew that she likes Deku, he could be like, I can trigger her with this thing. But why would he think that, okay, if I get her to drop, because it, it, it just feels like he thinks. Like he's planned, honestly planned out that she would drop like and be like, oh no, and then he, but the next part is he would actually win, it's kind of like, eh, but that was fine, right? he's like, I'm the best, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I, I, I love it, very short, great, um, and then of course, the other scene, which I think was actually was second funniest, I mean, I love, the Manetta part was the best part, absolutely, two minutes later, but the other part I think was very short, also very good then, uh, so it's not the order then, but he's, he's the sniper sensei, right? With his accuracy and he and the accidental up I grab. That, 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 that's again there with my hair, it really, really shines in the comedy and action. She, she, she wins and he's like, what, Bones? What's that? Like, ah, you put sensei! He's like, What? I can't, I can't see you! It's not my fault! It's like, ah, Get off me, sensei! And they're stuck with the, um, the handcuffs. Right? He's like, Ah! He's hitting He's like, ah, Let me go, girl! <laughs> I was like, yeah, And of course, uh, Oga, oh the octopus guy, he's like, He's like, Ugh. <laughs> Ah, stop fighting. <laughs> this is like, oh my god. Uh, but anyway, um, I mean, that, that was great. But the next battle then is, uh, of course, principal sense, principal. Um, I guess he's not a human, right? At all. It's, a, it's, a, it's, like, it's an animal which, which they gave a quirk, or maybe the animal quirk, right? So the animal they experimented on, he got a quirk that makes him smarter than humans, and then he becomes principal. So um, he has a villain streak in him. And I love that part. That part was really fun though. Every scene we're talking about them, and we see like multiply uh, screens on the bigger screen. So they have like 10 screens or something. We see him in the corner like... <laughs> I love that every time we're talking about him, we see him like... <laughs> kill, kill, kill! It's like, okay. Okay. He's really playing into that, the bad guy part there. And talking about like, if I'm telling you, the bad guys... They did this, 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 Yeah, so I love that. His voice actor is really good too. So... Uh, was a good part though. Not a very good battle, but we kind of learned how you can do it. So basically, his power, I compare it to Modok from, from Marvel. So, 
Modric and Norwood has like clear voyance, right? So you can see in the future. But he is like he's got something else, like clear calculation or something super like that. He has mathematical uh, calculation because he's such an intelligent, living brain guy. So he can determine what's going to happen when you do his stuff based on like you know having all the factors around, right? So that's kind of how he is. It's like well, based on that building is built that year with this material. If I press this here, this would be a weak spot. Yeah, that kind of thing. And then you can see that. You people have the like, prediction of uh, the future, not entirely, but you can do that. So, uh, interesting power makes him a very good, yeah, like a good, obviously a good principle because he can predict stuff and obviously ex extremely, extremely intelligent. Um, but it is a pretty weak battle power though, unless he's prepared. I'm, I, I would say so, right? Yeah, because it feels like this situation when he is the one <laughs> prepared, being in the wheel, much easier. He can't really go like confront, of course, he can. And they can utilize different stuff around. So he has a battle score, right? Something he can fight. Probably has some tech stuff and so on. Yeah, that felt a little weird, though. I mean, you you would expect it to also have some kind of I don't know Iron Man. So he's the most intelligent hero in the world, probably. He should also like build stuff, right? Um, so probably uses a lot of gear. Uh, they don't have like support gear, so I guess he uses a lot of support gear or build himself, right? So that that feel uh, something he can do as well. But this series is like, okay, he can just predict how the building works. And I like the message set up to that there is an escape route. But I will tell you, so like, you have one chance to escape. Because I am a good guy deep down. So yeah, I left you one little plan. <laughs> Which is kind of typical for a bad guy too, right? It's like, oh, I have this perfect plan as an evil guy. But if you do my riddle, you can escape. It's like, <laughs> it's like yes, I'm leading you around. But there is a plan. So yeah, but they didn't, of course. So the actual kind of battle was... Uh, so I wish they, uh, I will say that I wish they made a little more effort, or effort by some kind of more progress on beating him, so you can see like, well, you, you defeated my first plan, here's my 20 other second plans, so that, that could be a little better, uh, even for showing his powers, because it's not too easy for him, right? So I think that was, it's a little concern there, but yeah. Um, but then of course we have the whole uh, Mike Sensei, um, the hero and Koga. Koda, Koda, yeah, Koda. That, that, that was definitely a good part as well. Uh, he has overcome something, which can interest him because he's a very, very supportive character. You haven't really seen him at all, right? He's, just, he's a muse guy. You see him in the background. And this is probably the first time he ever was really shown. First time everybody's his quirk. And he had to overcome his fear of Bagrat Mushi. So, um, I think that's pretty good all, all around that. And obviously, Ariak, he is a really good character. He has like a lot of personality. And, um, it's kind of weird only do once, but I'm guessing it's physics wise. And she can, if you have a sound wave and you send all the wave around, you can, you can just announce it and they, 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 can, they will cancel it out. That, that works absolutely. In science, or you can do the same wave uh, amplitude and you can, you can maximize amplitude. But you have the same power with the reverse, you, you, you use loud. If you have less power and so on, you would actually, uh, you, you will have the, you, 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 can cancel, you can cancel it out then. But you will redirect and it will like become higher somewhere else and so on. So basically, if you have a sound thing that is typical, as I say, in many like sci-fi stuff, I have to match your frequency perfectly, blah, 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 and then nothing happens here. So that, that works physically, absolutely does. So it's kind of weird. She did it once. And I think she was going to say that, well, I have to listen to his voice like a few times to get the frequency, and then I could cancel it out the third time. But she, she never did. That, that thing was a little weird, I think. That she managed to cancel it out once, right? After like f his fourth attack on that was cancelled out completely because she perfectly uh, recognized his wave and so on. Frequency was correct, fine. But that was like she never did it again. That that was a little weird. She didn't like try to do it again then, or comment and say it. it's really hard because he can scream in different voice actings or lie low and how and do 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 and that means the amplitude. Because I mean, thing is that the amplitude is the strength of the wave, right? Of the sound wave. But the frequency and so on, it's high pitch or low pitch and so on, it's not the same thing as the amplitude. So you can actually have a wave that is really, really low pitched, but have extremely high amplitude, you can have the well, and so on. So to do that, you have to match those things, right? So he can, because imagine that Mike says they can both speak really, really high, really, really low, and it's a baby was horrible. <laughs> yeah, they mentioned that thing. So I was like, okay, so I actually expected her to be like, well, I have to kind of learn to match his up and down because the first tag was high pitch now it's low pitch now it's in the middle so you have to get the right frequency right and you can change it it's actually kind of hard and that's why it's needs better for her because she's also a sound user to have a sound battle but that didn't happen she liked it but that, that was a little weird that she canceled it once 
And then, then they just dropped that plotline. How, how she was like, okay, she can also cast in sound waves. Or she can do the thing. But that could, it could have been a girl for her as well, right? Said, okay, I have to fight a person with the same power as me, the same power as me. How can I be, defeat him? Can I become better than him because he's an experienced sound attacker? Can I learn that and so on? But then she just motivated Koda to use Pakistan. So this is a little bit. That's a little weird for me. But anyway, the Koda part then was one thing with him though. It's like, how did he get in, right? There's one thing with him. How did he get in? And he has like a very short flashback. It's like, Mama, I got in. It's like, oh, Kosha, you did it. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, I have to learn to control bugs. I have to be a hero. And it's like, he can speak suddenly. And then Alas is like, you can't speak? <laughs> because he always mute and he does this. I love that. He was like, animals run away. <laughs> and I was like, they run away. <laughs> just doing the, the escape from the sound wave. Oh, that was awesome. And then he set the bugs to the ground and so on. Um, but it's kind of weird. And then you just kind of like, you just like ignore it. They're like, here's flashback. He got in. Damn. <laughs> like, yeah, because how did he get in? Um, because there are no animals at the, the battle thing. There are people that are animals like, but like, how, how did you defeat them? Is it physical strength or something? It, it, it actually is kind of weird. Right? You have to. I don't know. I would like, honestly, if they said that he was. One of the four students that got in without doing the exam. Um, if that was in his flashback instead. Because someone could say that, well, he, he actually can be a really good fighter. He can control animals and bugs, which is kind of uncommon, right? And usually in, we have the kind of, I can control the animal power-up. Usually can't control bugs. Or it's like the wise version can control bugs, but not uh, like mammals or so on, right? Or birds or whatever. Mammals, mammals. Right? So you usually control either one, right? It's kind of how it is. In most, uh, whatever, we have some power, power. Rally can control both, and he can. That's like a really strong power, right? In, in the woods. So, yeah, that's what it is. Kind of weaker in the city, of course, but it's generally pretty good power. You can talk to dogs and everything in the city, and birds, and you can have some uh, clear some that. And it's, it's pretty good, yeah. So, it's kind of like, I wish that you said that to him. Oh, mom, I managed to get the. Uh, like, more like, I managed to get the uh, clearance for going to the school, uh, you know, by. The principal's recommendation or whatever, something like that, because they, he probably he can't fight this machine himself, right? And so all the humans there, but then he goes to the school and say, I, I have this power, I can control like everything except humans. It's pretty good actually. And they're like, yeah, that's pretty nice, but you can't fight AIs. So, uh, obviously, weakness, right? Robots. So that could have been a bit. I think that could have been explained there, something like that. That's the only thing that makes sense. He's one of the four uh, people that actually got in, uh, not fighting the robots, because like, yeah. But the thing is that, like, Hodroki so got in the final was, but it's because his father is the second strongest hero, so he didn't fight him because Dio, yeah, he's the best anyway. So this is a different thing, there, right? Uh, Hodroki so got in on, on, like, just having the good uh, last name, where he can get in them by having a power that they know is good, but necessarily it's not working specifically this exam. Uh, so that's a little weird that they didn't go into that more. It's just slightly on the flash, but they could be on. Anyway, the next battle course is uh, Invincible Girl, Hakagaki, and I can't remember uh, what's his name. That's a pretty short battle, and they and had the boob grab thing, and, and I liked it, I, like, I love the thing. It's like, bows? <laughs> it's like, I'm so resistant, but no, I love that thing. Um, but then, then they have the best part, we have Mineta, we have Mineta, we have Zero Mineta, and it's such a good moment. I was like, I hated that though, that was the last part though, because I was like, no, I was just, I was just, I wanted them to stop with that. Okay, after we recover and everything, because that's like one minute anyway. I would have had the first thing. I was super hyped about that. Well, I guess having the commercial break, you're gonna sit there and wait. So it's actually better, I guess, for its production value. That is true, actually. Um, but yeah, that part was just hilarious. All the way through, it's a pure comedy, right? We see Mineta there, and he's like, Oh, Zero, I hate you. You're my worst enemy. I was loving that. He's bleeding through his eyes out of frustration. And he's like, why, man? Why did you save me? <laughs> we see her like we see Midas as they have like the sexual feminine power people get sleepy and so on, right? So you can like create in that yeah, like if you sniff me once, you get <laughs> it's like I know her power exactly, I want to experience it. It's like he it adds like he knows to this complete power. He knows that she's one dirty sensor, right? And he's like, Man, I want to lose to her because she's definitely gonna like Harass me so because she is a freak, the, t the teacher. <laughs> He's a freak. He's like, I mean, he falls asleep, but he's like, Yes, come here, boy. Oh, my 
little cute student. Like, he's like, oh yeah, I, I want to know what's going to happen. He got knocked off by a lamp. Come on. It's like, he's, oh, it's brilliant. And he's so brilliant too, which is go after him and see you like, oh, we're going to fight, boy. We're going to fight. And we see Tony Garo is like, I respect you. You you're the dirtiest teacher. <laughs> like you're the you're the sickest teacher. You're the most hentai <laughs> hentai power fighter ever. All of them the hero. I'm your biggest fan. But I feel and I like to talk to me. I feel that you are pushing the limit, though, Sensei. You shouldn't be allowed to say this. I am just a young boy. <laughs> that was really good. And he was like, obviously, you're gonna sit back and be kind of afraid. Like, oh, you're gonna do stuff to me that. I probably will like, but regret in like 10 years, but this feels like you're a little too much now. Prob someone probably should report you to some kind of office. It's like, Sensei, okay, this is, you're going a little too far in my dreams here now. Like, you're a little too much pedestrian for me, yeah. She is definitely annoying being a teacher. I mean, I mean, she is, she is definitely the classic, like, you know, pervy teacher, right? The ones with be with students. I mean, really, I mean, Played for laughs, but it's like every Stevie Toy is like, oh, young boys. Oh, I love those. I like, like to the Rocky back and go on. So it's like, oh, they're pretty attractive for their age. She's like, every Stevie Toy is like, yes. <laughs> Always like that, yeah. And here she's like, oh, come to me, boy. I'm gonna teach you some mature stuff. It's like, is she playing that? It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think she does right. And oh, it was Fight Me two days ago when they had the, the teacher that had come. I was talking about doing her students to <laughs> the main character every scene. Like that means that yeah, like that kind of student, that kind of teacher. Um but of course she beats her. Which feels kinda of predictable, <laughs> I guess, because yeah, it's kinda of like of course gonna kind of defeat his worst opponents. Like I want to lose to that his goal with what I have to overcome wanting to lose, right? It's like I want to lose to her so she will touch me. That that's his biggest issue, it's like I have to be, overcome that. And then of course like, ah, perfect, <laughs> I tricked you away. And I like it, everyone's like, oh, Minetta, he's a genius. He's like, yes, that was clearly his only plan. He was like, yeah, it just happened to be like that. Um, it's like a pretty good plan though. Like his power is to get stuff stuck together. If you get stuck like, outside of the race of the gate, you can go past her and obviously be affected by her, um, her pheromone um, sleep ability there. Her, yeah, her powder. Pretty good fragrance. Yeah, that's pretty good plan actually in that sense. But it definitely is like she has a feeling he kind of wants to just go in there and be like, I want to melee fight her for reasons unknown. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, no, I have to be cool. I have to be a hero. Like, me, right? like, you talk me that means you're right. You have to, I have to be a hero to be cool. <laughs> like, I used to, the last point I remember with Mineta. God, I love Mineta. I just love that thing. We see his flashback. I love that. We see his flashback, right? It's like, you know, all the characters has to like, oh, credit flashback. It's like, I wanted to be a hero because I want to do girls. <laughs> it's like, that's a flashback. It's pure, like, I was sitting there in school and I was like, man, that guy is getting two girlfriends? How can I get at least two girlfriends? Lame. It's like, if I become a hero, I will get a lot of groupies. Nice. Like, that, that's only a game, though, right? It's like, that is only a game. I've seen recovery girls. It's like, to be a hero, you need motivation, you need to have a clear goal and so on. And, he, and he's like, oh, you tricked me. <laughs> he didn't actually mean that. Or like, wait, wait, maybe he did actually. Just like, wait, maybe he did. But I guess at least he has a very strong desire for his goal. I was like, yes, I have to fight this. Oh, God. Oh, I always loved it. Like, they all have tragic flashback. He's like, I want to have at least one new girlfriend a week. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's like, tragic flashback. Didn't have a girlfriend last year. Oh, we become the best hero. <laughs> I was like, yes. So anyway, see you guys next week and have a great day.